Ahead of Earth Day, which is tomorrow, Governor Westmore announces Maryland's commitment to achieve 100% clean energy by 2035. Nikki Zizaza joined us in the studio. Uh, I guess, Nikki, it's a move expected to create significant economic and job opportunities. Yes, it is, Denise. The wind power increase is expected to usher in more than 15,000 jobs. The governor and local lawmakers say the goal is ambitious, but together it can be done. This is a very clear statement to our entire state that we are moving fast, that we are going to be bold, and we're going to have 6.2 million people who are going to be participants in that boldness. From a podium at Trade Point Atlantic, Governor Westmore announced his administration is one step closer to positioning Maryland as the country's leader in offshore wind energy. Maryland Steel led the American economy in the 20th century, and I want Maryland Wind to lead the American economy in the 21st century. Signing the Promoting Offshore Wind Energy Resources Act and securing the offshore wind manufacturing yard at Sparrows Point in Baltimore with the help of Maryland lawmakers. This will be the staging area for the deployment of a huge amount of offshore wind energy right off the shores of our state of Maryland. The goal, generating more electricity offshore, targeting 100% clean energy by 2035. This is a proud day. It's not just the groundbreaking. It's the movement for the future of where we can be as a nation. Wind energy developer Orsted will use Trade Point Atlantic to serve as a hub to create materials and help Maryland achieve its goal of 8.5 gigawatts of offshore wind energy, a partnership expected to create more than 15,000 jobs. I am so grateful for all of the partners who have helped make this day and this project a reality. Now, this would quadruple the state's offshore wind energy output from 2 gigawatts to 8.5 gigawatts. And this increase could potentially provide enough energy to power nearly 3 million homes. Vic. 